Hey and welcome, this is going to be another video response to Mr. Excel and Excel is fun uh, tool. This is going to be a video response to the trick 133 which is add and largest value uh, with three different criteria. Uh, I actually have the uh, Excel file here. Basically, basically we actually have this data set here and from that data set we have this criteria and then uh, we have th also this that we actually want uh, the top two the sum of those uh, of the of the top two so we're gonna be using DAX here we're gonna be uh, using power Pivot here and first what we need to do is that we need to convert this to table I already did that so we actually have this as a table then uh, if you want you can actually rename the table and then it will go here where it says power period and then you will actually just up uh, I mean you actually just add this to the data model uh, once you actually have this on the data model you'll see that it's actually here it actually looks like this this is cool we also need something else we actually need a disconnected table which is going to be this one the one that I have here and it's going to be just a list of the values uh, that are going to be uh, on here. For example, if I actually just want the, uh, the largest value or the two largest values, two most largest values, uh, top two, top three, top four, I'm going to leave it up to top 11. Uh, then I'm going to add this to the data model. And then you'll actually see that when I click here, you'll see that I actually have a tab here called top and this is how it looks this is how it actually looks so I have two tables uh, they are not related it's just a disconnected table and this table this sample data set now what I need to do is that I need to actually just create a pivot table I go here where it says insert pivot table instead of selecting the select a table range I will use use an external data source, choose connection, table, tables in workbook data model and then I will choose that I want to have it here okay so I have it there and what I need is that I need to have the month as a filter I need to have the name as a filter Well we actually need to move this so it doesn't change how we actually have it I'll have it there the name we also need the year I'm just gonna put it here uh, yeah I'm gonna drag it here and finally we're gonna have we're gonna need the top value just gonna be another I'm gonna drop it here uh, let's put it that I want it to be at the end and it actually matches the one on on here and then what I need is that I need to create a DAX formula a DAX fun function that will actually retrieve according to this uh, this criteria here or the ones that will actually be here um, the sum that I actually want. So I'm gonna start with going here with this power period, that the power period that I, um, the power period ribbon. Choose here with says calculated fields. It will be just create a new measure on Excel 2010. And then actually you see here that I have both of these uh, calculations already created, created here. The first one that you need to create is called quantity which is just going to be the sum of that column that actually has uh, the, file, the values that you want to aggregate which is the quantity I'm going to name this uh, quantity and then here's where the actual font starts you're going to use sum x and then for sum x the table is going to be a table that we're going to create which is going to be a table using top n that's going to be the function and then 
what is going to be here is that for the end value which is going to which is basically saying like I want to have the top three values in this uh, which is going to be just three rows I have want to have the top three instead of actually putting three here or two here or one I'm going to put max of the table top with the column top values so the top values from this table top I'm gonna choose it on this uh, filter and once it's actually filtered or I select the values that's what's gonna be in here second I'm gonna be choosing uh, from what table I'm gonna be ranking doing the actual ranking and it's gonna be the values are actually stored on the table table one and then I want to order this somehow so I want to need to actually order this by the aggregation called uh, quantity which is the measure that I created uh, before just before this and I leave everything else just as default so where it says order is basically saying like you actually want it to be ascending or descending I leave it blank so it's not actually doing anything else uh, if you actually need to do any uh, any, uh, any type of, of ranking like you actually need to be like across uh, uh, cross column across uh, expression like you actually wanted to rank it somehow and then if you actually have some sort of uh, ties you actually want to break that tie by using another uh, expression you can actually set it up here so you can see in order by expression number two and you can go on and on and on and as, as long as you need to and then in the end uh, we just close parenthesis here which is going to close the uh, top end and then on the expression of the sum x we're going to be using the quantity so that's the whole uh, sum x and top end basically in, in short we're adding in a table that we're actually creating virtually that we're actually virtually creating a table that only has the values that we want to aggregate which in this case uh, is going to be just the two uh, top values from this table uh, in the context or in the consideration of just this measure or this calculated field so we hit OK, it's already working. Then I'm going to be adding this, which is on this. I'm going to be adding top to the values. And I'm going to be filtering here. I'm going to be testing this. It's going to be February. It's going to be Joe. It's going to be year. that's in 13 and I want the top two 95 and yes that is 95 it actually works if you want and this is something really cool uh, if you want this you can actually set it up like this like you actually want to see like hey if we actually just have the first one the top of, the, of this data set it's going to be 90 then if we actually sum the first one and the second one is going to be 95, if we actually sum the top three is going to be 99 and so on and so on. Um, if we actually just remove this filter to be uh, all, then it's going to be doing that calculation based on Joe and February. So we actually just have Joe February, which is going to be this one. The first one is 849, then we actually sum to that uh, 90, which is 939, then we actually sum 5. Uh, it's going to be the top three and then the top five well, sorry the top four is going to be 948 and so on and this is really cool this is extremely easy to actually build uh, it actually works with PowerPivot and the Tower model uh, I hope that you guys like it thank you